live from Oakland, California, in the Bay Area. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming at you right after the break. First pitch moments away. And pitching in this one for Oakland, Ross Stripling. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to bring that ERA down, because you know in the back of his mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. The pitch... Luis Arias in now. Takes ball one off the plate. The 1-0. -oh. Now this is in the air down the line. Nobody can get there and it's a foul ball. Close, but called a ball, and it's two and one. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers well, generally right back it up. And a good eye there. 3-1 now. Popped in the air. Left field. One up, one down. And let's take a look at the lineup. And now the D.H., Brian De La Cruz. There's a swing and a drive. Lede raging back towards the wall. Pulls it in on the warning track. Thought that was a no-doubter. Like the wind was holding that in his ballpark. Two outs, base is empty. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Out towards right center field. Butler makes the catch. And that'll do it. We'll go to the bottom of the first. 0-0. Zero, zero. Back in Oakland. And today's starting pitcher, Trevor Rogers. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there the on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Lawrence Butler stands in now, looks at that one inside. And he'll be safe at first. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the out of here. box and give it a That's full sprint out. through the base no, regardless no, no. of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Here's Tyler Nevin to the plate. There's a strike. And he deals. The oh. shortstop takes the ball. Wouldn't oh, chase that good. time. Two one hammered but foul. 
He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. Chases that one out of the zone. And now one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. This is J.J. Blade. There's a strike. 95 of that one. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Man at first, one away. And a swing and a miss. Two away. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. Down the line, Sanchez drifts towards it, and that is that. The A's strand one, scoreless after one. Top of the second, and now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. Josh. You know why Stripling has such a high arm slot? Well, he broke his leg in high school and couldn't play infield, so he was forced to adjust his throwing motion because of the cast on his leg. He changed his position, nope. and he never that's looked back. Inside. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. There's a strike at the knees. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire, very consistent with his zone, Chris, gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog, and I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way, so people around the league really appreciate his consistency. The line, the kick, and the one-two. Inside, almost got him. filled up. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Pernayas takes it in for the out. And there's one away. Now it's the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Into left center for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Nick Gordon, the next to hit, takes ball one. Second inning here, no score. A 
That one catches the corner for a strike. Kicks and fires. That one catches the zone. One and two. Right-hander kicks, deals, and another ball. Got him looking, and to a lay Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Emmanuel Rivera, the next up for the Marlins. Yeah. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. The 0-1. And ball. that one is inside ball one. Pitch. Whips it to first. Third out. Marlins leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. Leading, Leading off, off Abraham eight. Toro. The second baseman. Abraham Toro. And the pitch. That oh. misses the zone. Ball one. This one lifted in the air. Left field. And out number one on the grab. That is good. No left field. So here's Brown at the plate. Brown. First oh, offering, and it just misses. One out, base is empty. Oh. Just missed. Next offering upstairs. And that's in for a strike. Bounce to the left side. Play is made. Two out. Batting tap. The catcher. Kyle. And now here's the A's catcher, Kyle McCain. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Two out. Space is empty. That one in the air, center field. Chisholm makes the catch, and that'll do it. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here in the East Bay, stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Vidal Brujan. Ruhan measures 5 feet 10 inches, 180 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And ball one. And that's a leadoff double. 
lefty was all over that, that one. I love the, the approach catcher. he had right there with that pitch. Not trying that to do too catcher. much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Here's the catcher, Christian Bethencourt. Just Outside, missed. Swing and a miss. And one and one. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to hold on to it, and they don't get an out on the play. The out of three. Second base. Luis Arise stands in. Fly to left his first time. That one almost got him. The fish looking to strike first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Line drive. Fair ball. Runner around third. One runs in. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So now here's the DH, Brian De La Cruz. Laser could be extra bases. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. It's three zip, and that's a double. Nicely done. Brings home two. Just a great yeah. approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to hit for a second. And now the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and he just misses. Out to short, Nevin. Zips it to oh. first, and one away in the top of the third. The first base is number nine. John Bell. Josh Bell at the plate now. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Let's go, Oakland! Let's go, and it immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. And it's second. That's no a little bit low. Really close oh, no, pitch down right. around yeah. the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And here it comes. That Whoa, one misses, and it's two and two. At the belt and fires. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two.
This to third. Hernandez tosses across oh. the first. Two away. The white man is well. Jesus. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. One for one with a single so far. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, one's the count. Rips that one center field. Lede right there to make the grab. And that is that. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now 3-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And we're back. And, we and stepping in, in is the speedy Daryl Hernandez. It's interesting. He plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that yep. position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. The lefty fires. Lifted in the air, right field. Sanchez gets under it, nabs it, and there's one down. Batting nine. The first, the first base, base baseman, Ryan. Ryan Noda. Ryan Noda, up next for the A's. First pitch misses. And that one off the outside edge. The Marlins leading by three here in the last half of the third. Now three and oh. There's a strike. Why the kick the pitch? Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Drifts towards it. Two down. The right fielder, number four, Lawrence. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Lawrence Butler up next for the A's. Reached on an infield single his first time. Foul ball. In the air on the infield. Bruhan pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. Nothing doing there for the A's. They trail it here, three nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the left fielder, Nick Gordon. Nick Gordon. Stripling back to work. And now the count is even. Right through there for a strike. Breaking ball inside. Two and two. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Sizes this one up. Pulls it in for the out. Up next for the Marlins, the third base. And up next for Emmanuel. Miami, Emmanuel Rivera. Rivera rolled out to second in his first at bat. Ball. The pitch. Shoots a line drive single into right center. So a man aboard now with one away. 
everything came together for him. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Let the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And now it's Vidal Brujan. And there's the strike. 0 and 1. Riding to the play. up to the left into foul ground calls it in two away the bat the, the catcher catch first in Bethancourt man at first and now for the Marlins Christian Bethancourt Account. Two outs. And one. that's down it away. One and one. Here's a one one. On the ground the first. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. One left for Miami, but they lead it 3-0. Oh, Bottom four. Now the number four two eight. hitter, Tyler Nevin. Tyler as he turns on the rubber and with that good live ball. arm delivers the wind of the pitch and that one fouled off the one one is fouled off And a one two. The Two shortstop balls. takes Two the ball. Strikes. Out to short. Bruhan. Fires across yeah. the diamond. One up, one down. Well, a well thrown slider like that one can be up tough up to get in the air. Good downward break the on that one. JJ. Digging in for yeah. Oakland. JJ Bladé. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Close, but call the ball. And that's ball one. The wind of the pitch. That misses. Two and oh. The fish leading by three. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Well, he missed a hittable off speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Popped up. Arise has it sized up. Corrals it. Two down. Up next, next. Oh, oh. the designated the hitter. hitter. Shea. Shea Langoliers. Langoliers. Up next for the A's. First oh. pitch doesn't find the zone. Mm -hmm. 
He swings and fouls one off. Here's a 1 1. Ball two. Gets the outside corner with that one. Right through there, got him. And it's a three up, three down inning. And one, two, three go the A's. Still down, three nothing. Back in Oakland, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Luis Arias. Right hater back to work. Off Ball the mark the there. One and oh. Hey. Swing and a miss. Nice change up. One ball, one strike. Here comes a pitch. That's ball two. Wouldn't ball chase three. that time. Swing, but he went too far, and it's three and two. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got his second double of the game. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. The manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. So, man aboard, and next is the designated hitter, Brian De La Cruz. Ball one there. Ball one, no strike. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. In there at the knees. And the count even one and one. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Danny Jimenez appears to be getting loose. Muller, the lefty, warming up as well. Man at second. On the ground to third. Jumps, throws, one away yeah. here in the fifth. The center, the center fielder, field number two, two. Jazz, Jazz Chisholm Jr. And now, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Fouled off, he was late. It's in and out of his glove. No, he's safe. So first and second with one man gone. Here's Josh Bell. A swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Just off the inside edge. Pitch misses there. Now two balls and a strike. One out, runners at first and second. Deal. 
Double steal. Bounce to third. Hernandez gets it to first. No shot at the double play with the runners going. That was a productive at bat. You know you're doing something right. Anytime you help move two runners into scoring position and give your team a chance to drive in a few runs, even if it's still kind of early in the game. And here comes Mark Kotze as he's ready to make a change and go to the bullpen. Ross Stripling done for the afternoon. Just never found his groove, wasn't able to settle in. New arm coming on. Back in. On to pitch now for Oakland, Joe Boyle. He's been so good against lefties. And at the plate for Miami, Jesus Sanchez, one for two. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Second and third, two down. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. The one one is fouled off. pitch that one lifted to left Brown makes the grab and that'll do it so a strong showing there from the Oakland bullpen last half of the fifth coming up it's the Marlins three and the A's nothing Here in the East Bay, we head to the, the bottom of the fifth, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Abraham Toro, and the pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. It gets down, a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now a dominant left performance left. for him today, Bull. Just two hits allowed wow. so far, no runs across either, and He's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced, so I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Seth Brown up next for the A's. That one fouled off. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Hauls it in for the out. Now, now catcher, Kyle McCann. Digging in, Kyle McCann. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. McCann fouls one off. The next That's offering good. misses, and it's Where a ball to strike. Roll to short, could be two. Bruhan over to second, and that's two. Still nothing on the scoreboard for him after five. It's the Marlins three and the A's nothing. And we're back. Here's the left fielder, Nick Gordon. pitch aim for a strike and it's 0 and 1 Oakland's bullpen has some movement Austin Adams up and throwing on, got 
the bat going too soon at strike two. No ball, two strikes. On the ground, right side, Toro to first. Now one ball in the top of the sixth. Now the third baseman, Emmanuel Rivera. In there for strike one. Oh, and one. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Ball, that's outside. And that's off the inside edge. Two and one. One down, base is empty. Snags it for the second out. Well, baseball can be cool, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing. He's got nothing to show for it. Now it's the shortstop, Vidal Brujan. The shortstop takes the ball. No strikes to count. Two down, nobody on. Swinging a foul straight back. Righty delivers. Eight, two. Two outs. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So two down. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Christian Bethencourt. And that catches the low inside corner. Good fastball. Inside just missed. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And that will drop foul. One, two. And two another ball. Right handed reliever. Foul ball, another two two upcoming. And the righty deals. Chop back up the middle. Nevin on the run. Sends oh. it over to first. That's out number three. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one left. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Marlins three and the A's nothing. Bottom of the sixth. Well, Here's yeah, the we'll third baseman. Daryl Hernandez. Wind in the pitch. Fastball for a strike. Going one. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball.
That one, one not close. Two one and two to count. Miss struck him out and one away. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed on the base pass. It's not just the pitcher, it's oh, yeah, other yeah. guys that have to think about it. From no, no. your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy nope. from taking an oh, extra yeah. base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. That clips the corner. That one almost got him. Left hand hitter waits. Hard ground ball, base down. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Well, a swing like that now can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers oh, coming yeah. into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now the right fielder, Lawrence Butler. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. Pitch nope. misses outside. outside. And yeah, that's ball two. And that one is inside. In for a strike. And now three and one. To left down the line and that lands in no man's land a foul ball instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended tied him up a little bit slightly up slightly in the pitch and that's, that's too high ball, ball four He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Next up for the A's, Tyler Nevin. That one missed. With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. Through there for a strike. Strike on the inside corner. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Oh, you got to be ready to swing the bat yeah, with a yeah. runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. J.J. Bladé up next for the A's. Oh, he doesn't get the call, and it's one to know. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Base hit! Runner around third on his way to the plate. He did it! Go! Picks himself up an RBI. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. So digging in, Shea Langoliers. Ground ball left side. They get the force. 
inning over, and it could have been worse. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and this is now a 3-1 ball game. Back after this on the show. All set for the Leading start of the inning. Home. Now it's the Marlins' the leadoff base. hitter, Luis Arias. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players the that ball. we see day in, day out. <laughs> to the right side. He handles it himself. That's the first out, the top Up of the seventh. The, Marlo, the designated hitter, Ryan De La Cruz. And here is Ryan De La Cruz, one for three. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. And the count is 0-2. One down, base is empty. Out towards left center. Sizing this one up. Pulls it in, and there's two away. The center fielder, number two, Jazz, Jazz Chisholm, Chisholm Jr., Jr., the next up for the Marlins. And nope. the first pitch misses for ball nope. one. one oh. And no another oh. ball. Next That's pitch out. is outside. Kicks and fires. The right-hander nope. gives up the two-out walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk, yeah, yeah, and that last one didn't even threaten the zone. No, no. Catcher might want to go talk no. to him. Josh Bell, the next up for the Marlins. That hey. one finds the zone. That's strike one. the first no, and he dives back in safely the 0 one hey. and a bat like this is almost over as it begins in this situation you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be you just got to hope that you can make contact the, miss, the velocity blasted it right past him. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left on. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Marlins three and the A's one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, Abraham Toro. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a Off relief plate, pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. That one is upstairs. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey. 
Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Two balls, two strikes. Seven. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And it's one and one. one ball, the one Athletics break. down by a pair here at the bottom of the seventh. Foul ball there. Got him swinging. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Movement in the bullpen. Tanner Scott, the closer, getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. Bender, a right-hander, loosening up as well. On the ground, the rise. Tosses to first. Oakland goes quietly. And the A's are gone in order. Score holds. It's 3-1. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Kyle Muller. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Now it's the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Number 12, Jesus Sanchez. And the pitch. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. Ball one. I got a ball, one strike. Left hand batter waits. That yeah. one finds the zone. And it's one and two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And the one two misses to even the count. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Nice, doubled up with the slider for that punch out. The one before just caught the zone. So as a hitter, you have to protect right there. Great pitch to just expand a little bit more. He got that chase he was looking for. That right there is good pitching. Gordon, Aye. batting with one down, takes a strike. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Austin Adams, a right-hander with big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. One down, base is empty. Fought off foul. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Sends it to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. The batter, the third base, Emmanuel Rivera. Two outs, base is empty. Emmanuel Rivera now at the plate. In the air, left field down the line, and that's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on, and we're in the top of the eighth. Yeah. That pitch in for a strike, and it's on two. And this is inside. And 
here it comes. Good job to fight that one off. Throws to first. Marlins set down in order. And the Marlins down quietly as the lead remains 3-1. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Anthony Maldonado. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Now the third baseman, Daryl Hernandez. The pitch. Hey! Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ball game if you're not careful. A why to kick the pitch. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Wouldn't chase that time. One ball, two strikes to count. In the air out to center on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. First base. Ryan. Ryan Noda will hit next. Pulls that one foul. And he'll one. Good eye in that spot. They got it for out number two. That swing right there tells me he's seen the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Back to the top of the lineup, and the batter now, Lawrence Butler. In the air, left field. Gordon under this one. Pulls it in to end the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Austin Adams. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Vidal Brujan digs in now. The short Vidal Brujan. And a pitch. And there's a strike of the outside corner. It's 0 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. No ball, two strikes. Got him. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Now that Christian <laughs> Bethencourt, the next to hit, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And that clips the inside corner. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Danny Jimenez getting loose out there. And downstairs. And he takes a strike. Ground ball up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Oh, two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. And up next for Miami, Luis Arias. He's kind of an outlier, especially 
when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Oh, Mitch down. misses, and that is ball one. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And that's in there at the knees. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams that's combine ball, slug with more contact, with that's less ball, swing and miss. Strike. Two down, nobody on. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. On his way in. He's got it. And that is out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Two, three, four set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Marlins three and the A's one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the night. Tanner Scott. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Tyler Nevin. Over three with two strikeouts and a ground out. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. The shortstop takes the ball. Not close with that one, and the count is even two and two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Yeah, and I figured you would get Katze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Here's a two two. Hey, another ball. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. lifted in the air sizes this one up he's got it and there's one down now that the designated hitter yeah. right up here. he's two outs away now it's the DH Shea Langoliers 0 for 3 a fly out of ground out and a strikeout Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. Gets a piece and stays alive. The tying run at the plate. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. And that one missing low. The Marlins leading by two. And the home team trying to pull it out. And now the lefty. And a swing and a miss. And they're down to their last out. Typically, that high fastball, if it's now close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little 
jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. So it's their last chance in this one. Next to hit, Abraham Toro. Swing and a miss, blew it by him at 99. Tying run at the plate. They're down to their final strike. Scott is just one strike away. Three. Got him. And the crowd goes home disappointed as this one draws to a close. Rogers with his first major league win. Yeah, nicely done. I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should. A start he won't ever forget. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby saying so long.